<laughs> okay, so I was about to tell points. him to eat it. Hmm? Can you hear me? Or, yeah. yeah, yeah what were you saying, David? Okay. So, first of all, question. Mm -hmm. Do we have the body of a dead snake person laying on the, mm -hmm. the floor of this attic here? We do. We do. Also, okay. the sloughed off arms and legs in a separate pile. Okay. You... Mm. And the skin. And Bobby's well, arm. Well, I know priority. We need to destroy whatever paintings uh, are out here uh, around this place. We need I to just destroy them. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think we need to do squat except for get out. Yeah, because we just had a gunfight in the middle of Soho. And it's downtown. You know, if they come in here looking and wondering what's going on, there's a dead snake person. I think it's okay that we defended ourselves against a dead snake person. I mean, I'd rather not be here either, but I think it's rather important that Things we... Things in this this case is always I mean, none of, of the other paintings had this sort of effect on us except for that. And I really, I think that one only affected me. Well, I mean, we, we could go with the very direct method. There are oil lanterns hanging from the ceiling. We could just sure. smash them and run. And it's oil paint, and they will go up. I mean... Well, I mean, the kerosene will go up pretty good, too. Like, they're notoriously yeah. dangerous. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean... It, that could be the solution. We just slap a couple of kerosene but I'm, I'm, down. I'm okay, but then you know the, the that... poor guy locked in the closet there. Uh, you know what? He he's not a poor guy. That dude is <laughs> jacked. I'm, okay. Uh, so what, what, let's go ahead. I was gonna say whatever we choose to do. I mean, the issue is is there's been gunfire. If this thing goes up. We have to get out of London, too, because they're going to be looking for us here, too, and it is not going to go as easy as it went on us in New York. Being told to sit still for a couple days oh, yeah, yeah. and then get our weapons back because we know people, that's one thing. Here in London, it could mean all kinds of other things. I mean, we could get deported. And if, I mean, I'm, I'm all for leaving, Let's go out the back but door. they're going to send us back to America. They're not going to send us to anywhere else that we want to go. All I know is, I'm, I'm okay. I want to take the painting and I want to get out of here. You're taking We're not going to burn this place down. The For one, one thing, the cab the took us here, and the cab can tell them that we were here. So, <laughs> what painting are you taking? The wind. Why do you want to take that? That Why thing's can't we huge. Just not cut is it, it? Out? Yeah, it's like half a wall. Yeah. Oh. You could you could cut it out, roll it up, and oh, okay. transport it that way. It would okay. be way yeah. easier to I, do that. I'm, I want to do that. It's the one piece of proof of what happened in New York as well at this point. That is, those, those are what we fought. You're, you're talking about the cultists at the bottom of the painting, the the, the people with the headdress yeah. on? No, nah, I don't disagree with you, Bobby. That is a good point. Is that, are we saying that those are the cult of the mm -hmm. bloody tongue or those are the masks that we saw, saw in the Juju house? That, that, is, that is the masks you, mask you saw at the Juju house. Also, if you had to guess, the creature on top of the mountain is the bloody tongue. Okay. I'm just making sure that we're not we're not oh yeah drawing two things together because there were lots of artifacts in the Juju house mm -hmm. that yeah, were no, not no, no. This possibly was, directly related to this. This wasn't just in the Juju house. This is the one that the the guy that attacked you oh, was wearing. Well, Mr. Oh, the lion dude. I'm yeah yeah yeah. Oh him. Yeah, yeah I'm, him. Okay. I'm, I'm taking. Okay, the, that's okay. fine. I, I'll help you get. I'll, let's, I'm sure we'll find a knife somewhere up here. Yeah. I have one. I have a switchblade. <laughs> And I think we always need, prepared. I think we need to go to ground after for a week the or Juju two. House. I agree. You can bet I'm prepared, and should, I do have a tea allergy. Should we go to? So, are you guys searching the house before you leave? No, no. I'm not. Should we go to Lower Edel? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're not going anywhere else. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. I want to make sure. I want to make sure that we're on the same page here. You're not even searching the house to see if there's somebody else here. Oh, uh, I was told to go do that, so I probably yeah. But you came back that. upstairs when you heard the ruckus. Yeah, but that was after that that Dolphus told me to oh, go that's check right. the house. Send, yeah, check the front door. Because I yeah. was getting I was getting mad at Bobby, and told him to go put the guy in the closet. Because of your disability, your scales. You got upset by your scales. No, I think he's upset by his scales as well. I don't. I feel like we're on the yeah. same page here. And none of y'all, none of y'all got a translation of what was said to me. Not yet. Uh, um, so, Ms. Rumtree, you are searching the house to make sure no one else is there. I am, and I still have my thirty-two drawn. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Uh, so on the second floor are four rooms with scant furnishing that are perfectly ordinary. Uh, nothing else seems out of the ordinary on that floor. No door is even locked up there. 
on the ground floor, um, you note that the rear door leads to a small garden enclosed by a nine foot tall brick, nine foot tall brick wall uh, of recent construction. There is a kitchen, a short hall to a bedroom, and a parlor. Um, there's a door off of the kitchen that leads to a what you have to assume is a basement. Um, Does the smell continue? Yes. Uh, it is gets it... stronger by the basement door. Oh, we should all go look in the basement. <laughs> um, in the bedroom, you do note a small uh, lacquered box um, sitting on the dresser. Okay. And do you still have the needle? I assume it so. Seems, I put, I it seems it. out of place. Yes, you do have the needle. It does seem out of place. The lacquered box? Uh, yeah. Can I... Can I... Can I move closer to it um, and look at it with my appraising sure. eye? Sure. Uh, you get closer. It is a ra- relatively um, noteless la- lacquered box. It, the difference is everything else in the room is like a like a mahogany wood, and this is a black lacquered box that doesn't seem to have. It, it doesn't fit with the aesthetic here. Um, it is closed. Do you want to try and open it, maybe with the needle? Um. Sh- sure. Sure. <laughs> Sounds so sure. Uh, yeah. You tip. You tip the lid of the box back. Inside is a uh, syringe and a small vial uh, filled with um, some greenish liquid. Oh. That's totally. It's like, cool. a, it's like a dull green. It's like snake juice. Okay. Snake juice. <laughs> That's the that's the grossest thing. <laughs> yeah, on, on all accounts, it's nasty. Um, okay, I'm going to shut the box. Does it have a lock on it? No. Okay, then I'm gonna shut the box. And um, this is a bedroom, is it not? It is. I'm going to grab. Uh, I'm gonna take a pillowcase off the pillows, and I'm gonna put the the box in a pillowcase and then tie it up so it can't come open yeah okay that that sounds great and then i'm going to slip it into my my case okay because i was gonna say okay. that doesn't look like we're pillaging a no, house I at took, all i took because i i stated after bobby came back that yeah. i took my case and i walked out of the room so i'm gonna yeah, yeah. open my case and i i'm sure there's room in there for a box as long as it's not okay. you know huge yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, okay, and then are you? Uh, by that time, everybody is downstairs. Are you checking the basement at all? Or I am to- going to tell them, uh, even though I'm sure they can smell for themselves. But obviously, excuse me. Obviously, something there's there's more things in the basement. I don't know what that means. I just know that it it continues to smell like the reptile house, and it smells worse. Over uh, here. I've had notorious bad luck with basements. Um, okay. I'm not going down into the basement. Uh, personally. I'll keep watch at the top of the stairs, but I'm not going down. I don't. Bobby? Hardgrove? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go down to the basement. Um, but I do want to know if there's any other paintings that were up here that are well, not locked was, away in the ca- cabinet. There were another. There were several, weren't there? Yeah, I'm looking for the number. Hold on, I'm sorry. There's probably 30 or 40 other paintings sitting up wow. here. Okay. Are you going to look through them? But like I said, we we saw many of these on our way up, and they did not affect us like the other ones did. Oh, no, 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 no. These were all kind of off on, their, on, the, on the side, like... You would ha- he once you start looking at them, there is going to be an effect. After you look at oh, the first is there? one, okay, you'll, it'll be clear. These were these are all kind of stacked against the wall, having been painted and not discarded but set aside. I'm all up for burning this place again. <laughs> yeah, but we are in the middle of the city. The only the only way that I would even remotely agree to any kind of f- starting of a fire here is if we throw the paintings in the basement and we throw something down. Some Just Mol- as a, Molotov as a cocktail. Note, uh, houses in England, especially in the are, in attached. Blunt, are attached to the houses next to them. So you're building uh, that was my next question. a whole yeah. row of houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. can't do that. No, we can't. 
Um, and we, can, <laughs> we can, but we won't. Is anybody going into the basement? Was my, was the I'm question? Not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'd go. Bobby, I'll go if you if you think we need to check it out. I don't think we need to check it out, Bobby. I think we found everything we I'm need to do here. Leave sooner than we could you check ha- out the basement, have, unfortunately. You do have, Bobby, can you give me a sanity check? You do have some mm-hmm. power over these. Check. Of course, the sanity check. What are you talking about? <laughs> he is All com- the sanity checks. You might be compelled. Oh, no. Hey, hey, Ron, I failed. The, I want you to see. The Look. Screen 70 feet. view on the... Thank you. You failed? I failed. Fantastic. I mean, I just want everybody to see. It's a you, 73. You hear a... You hear a... Coming from the basement door. It's not beckoning you. There's no demand that you go. But you can hear it. Something is down there. It's more of them, Bobby. I, 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 I let's just leave. I, I, and I don't think we need anything else from here. You've got your painting. We've got proof. I think we need to get out of here before anybody comes investigating the noises that we made. Oh, I'm sorry, Roxy. I just wanted to see us full screen so I could see everybody else. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I see what you're doing. I was like. Yeah, no, do we, I didn't need a, a handout. I just wanted to see us all full screen, yeah. if I could. I mean, unless cool. you think something good can come out of going in the basement, I think we just need to leave. That's fine. You okay Are with you that? Are you wearing a long sleeve shirt, like, or were you in short sleeves? Like, no, how no. can we even see your? I probably would have pulled it up like this, and yeah. yeah. So have you covered it back up? I now? probably have covered it back up, but uh... we can deal with that later. But I would. I yeah, think I don't think we, men wore short sleeves too much in this time. I don't no, think so either. No. But we did. We were able to see it, so I just wanted to make sure. Um, and then, you know, we're probably putting our jackets back on that we left in the front. You know, the the four the four year. Yeah, I think we need to head back to the hotel. Let's get out of here. All right. All right. Uh, you guys uh, go out. Hail a cab. Hey, hang on. I had a question. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Those paintings, they're all like, they're kind of stacked up together, right? Yes. Okay, is there a jar of a dark colored paint or maybe like paint thinner or something that I could just pour over the top of them? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do that real quickly then before we leave. You're and hopefully not gonna be like... able to, you're not going to be able to get all of them. Even with all the paint, you're going to probably get two-thirds of them at best. Okay, well, you know, do what I can, short limit of time. But a if sage can... in the future will tell you that two out of three ain't bad. Ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you destroy you, you destroy some of the paintings. Okay. So whoever's uh, gonna come into this next, we need to leave it and not you know a little bit easier down. to deal with. So yeah. no one else gets sucked into a painting. Right. I still can't believe that happened. I can. <laughs> Um, so you guys head out, hail a cab, and you're going back to the safe, uh, hotel? Yes. And my paranoia is up to nth teen, and I would like to, uh, watch, I'm gonna sit in the back and watch out the window. You can all give me spot hidden. Success. Success. Normal. Not for me. Uh, not for me either. Okay, so uh, as you drive back to the other hotel, you don't really see anything in the rear view or by watching. Um, you get there. It is probably, it's it's after dinner. It, it would be a very late dinner at this point. And y'all are pretty hungry. It's been a little bit of a harrowing uh, afternoon, evening. What, what would you like to do? Uh, when we get to the hotel, I would once again stop at the desk and I would ask for Alfred. Uh, Alfred has gone home for the evening. Uh, my name is whatever. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. How may I help you? It matters to Miss Rumtree. Um, lad, I, I really appreciate uh, y'all. And I had spoken with Alfred earlier and was asking if anybody had left any messages for me and that some of them might be up in the room. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure that nothing had come in. Or anybody would come asking uh, to see me. I've got some people that we've talked about meeting, you know, while I was here. And I just want to make sure that they didn't stop in while I was out. 
Yes, um, let me check. And he turns around and, like, pulls the messages, goes through them, um, and checks the mailbox for your room and comes back and says, I don't have anything. Uh, there's no notification here that anyone has stopped by. I apologize. That's perfectly fine. I'm, I'd rather they didn't, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, at least not while I'm out. You know, that just doesn't okay. seem right. Uh, but thank you, thank you, sir. And uh, you have a good night, and I would leave uh, a, a tip on the the table oh thank you um uh, okay let's go up to the room and order you have room a, service you have a phone in your room i do do i have a phone in my room it would there's be, again uh, there's be like a the other hotel like the city, okay right? i'm i'm you'll have to forgive roxanne's lack of knowledge of how prevalent phones were in 1925 well i'm making it up so <laughs> oh, okay that's yeah fine. It, i would assume that if you're gonna have the the suite with multiple bedrooms you have like the high level okay we have like a fl- or we have the like hotel the pin so house. you would have a yeah yeah kind of you would have a, a phone in the room at least not in every bedroom but at least sure in the, sure sure that would connect to an operator and you know the whole klondike five sure. six seven is this like uh is it, yeah is it a party line should i be worried about that? probably other people listening in uh, um, but anyhow, uh, yeah, so I, I do. I hold out a uh, 20. 20 pounds? Uh, American. Oh, okay. To the desk clerk. Okay. Anybody comes in looking to go to that room, I don't care who they are, you ring it. If they ask for us, come by, ask if we've been in, let us know. Uh, yeah, yes, sir, absolutely. Uh, and, he, and tell them we're not here. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I'm not you. even sure if he knows y'all's names. I don't know, but and I, just... I don't think we should tell. No, no, uh, this, yeah. this is you've a, been this, dealing with him, so it's a, yeah, this is your this show. Is just, yeah, if anybody comes looking for me or any of my associates, I just uh, rather they didn't come up to the room tonight. I'm a little beleaguered. Sure, absolutely, we can do that. Um, so, you guys head up to the room and order room service. Yep. Yeah, is there Chinese takeaway with? Uh, a couple of bottles of something strong. I'm going to roll my sleeve down. Is my arm still like that? It sure is. Um, the skin around it is red, um, but not like bright red. Almost like a, like you you scratched it really bad or something. Um, the scales seem to just kind of interplay into your skin without an issue. Okay. Um, and you rub your hand across them, they feel like snake scales. Mr. Blackwood, is there something... i be honest, I don't remember seeing your forearm before today. Uh, no, I is can... this new? No, oh, I, I can test that it. he's... It was normal. I have never been covered with anything like this. So I'm going to assume that that happened to you when you were out of our presence for a moment. And in some sort of, uh, on some sort of island. So you, so what the painting showed us is where you were. I didn't get a good look at the painting. All I know is that he, he took a veil off of something and I was all of a sudden on an island. We saw a painting with a swamp and an altar in it with snake people like the old lady was. So is that what you saw? Yeah. Wow, you guys did see Bobby. In we did the see Bobby too. in the painting. Um, There's a good representation of you. Know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was anything said to you while you were there? Yeah. You don't have to share I'm, if you don't want to, Bobby. Jewel is looking at him expectantly, as though she waits for him to continue. And I'm going to give you the look, like I don't, let him have a moment. I don't understand what this is. But essentially, they started saying a whole bunch of words. I understood what they were saying, and they were basically saying, it's time for you to return to us. Time for you to shed your skin, and then this started happening. So, Bobby, this... Are you, hmm. I'm, I'm like no, stammering because I'm, I'm flamber- flabbergasted. As far as I know, as far as... I look, my my dad is reptilian as far as far as I joke, but I am not <laughs> a you know I am not a snake person as far as I know. Right. I mean, well, you, you you're not part of a cult, correct? I mean, this would be the time to tell us. No, I'm not part of a cult. Okay. <laughs> this would be the time to tell us. <laughs> this would be the time to tell us. <laughs> I am not a part of a cult. Um. I have. 
Well, I'm just going to come out and say this much. I know that there's something more to what goes on in the world. Well, I think I, I think we all are. I think I we're all coming to that realization. And quite frankly, some of the books that I read on the the boat or the book that I read on the, the ship over had some very interesting things in it. And I'm going to assume, based on the new knowledge that I have acquired, is that you've been touched by some sort of spell. As much as I don't like to, uh, we can joke about magic all we want. It but, exists. But um, based on some of the writings I read, now that we're thrust into this whole scenario, I don't think anything's out of the question. And that the way that that painting that he decided to take with him made me feel, and the things that we saw in that painting and what we saw happen to him, I, I think magic is definitely not the most unbelievable thing that I've ever heard of. It's not unbelievable. During the war, I witnessed some things that couldn't be explained by sure. any amount of logic whatsoever. You know, at the time, we were told, you know, if someone actually said something to somebody, it was because they were shell-shocked. Well, and, and my husband has talked many times about things that he has witnessed and has known of, but I thought it was mostly just fool talk. But How come? I don't know. All Speaking I know. Speaking of that painting that you've got there, Bobby, I actually recognize some of that painting. I think we all recognize a little of that painting, Dolphus. Are you saying like you recognize something more than just the people or things in it? Yeah, I know where it is. So that wasn't a painting of somewhere else. That was actually here. Well, that yeah, that's a mountain in Kenya. Well, that doesn't make me feel good. Not at all. Dolphus, could I get you to roll um, like a natural history? Okay. I, don't, I don't remember what the... Is there a natural history now? There is. There's natural world. Natural world, yeah. Natural world, okay. Yeah. Uh, nope. No, okay. Give me just a second. I might have you roll something else. I want to make sure that I'm not missing something. Um, well, I'm only like two points off. I could use some luck on it if I need to. Um, I need everybody to give me an idea roll. How about that? And the idea uh, roll idea is... Roll? It's, uh... I'm sorry, intelligence. intelligence. Back in my day, in the earlier uh, games, we, in hey, we rolled a dish. Well, extreme success. Intelligence I got. Yeah, hard success for me. I got an extreme. I did not. I'm not feeling very wise tonight or intelligent. You know, yeah, I'm not I'm not making that test. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you remember in the Nairobi notes from Jackson Jackson Elias, he mentions um, that the there's a that the bloody tongue is reputedly based in a mountain uh, called the Mountain of the Black Wind. And this painting is the the uh, Black wind on the mountain. Oh, the wind on the black. The mountain of black. The wind blows over the mountain in black. There, this is probably the mountain of black wind, and you know exactly where that's at because it, it ties into what you guys were already studying, or or researching and looking into. So this is most likely the mountain. The the mountain of the black wind. Um, there's nothing to say when this, what what time period this represents. It could be yesterday. It could have been a thousand years ago. You you can't really tell. Or the and they're the cult of the bloody tongue. Yeah, and that thing, if that's not a bloody tongue, you don't know what is. I was going to say, it looks kind of tongue-shaped, right? So uh, Yeah. Gross. I'm... So here's where I'm at, above all things, right this moment. We're in London, and we got a, the cultists here in London, pretty deeply entrenched. When the Penhue Foundation, yeah. Are we even going to do anything about it? What? Uh, I'm looking at, yeah. What What? What do you think the four of us are going to be able to do if the cult that is in New York is being ringled by this guy we met today? And that's the question that I ask. Are we just getting out of Dodge at this point? I'm... At, at the end of that question, oh. there's a knock at the door. Excuse Lovely. me, gentlemen. 
and I would straighten my outfit and I would approach the door so and look out. Is there a peephole? Yeah, we're supposed to be told. There, there is no peephole. It's not. That's not a 1920s. This is just call it to the door. Who is it, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I requested gun. no no disturbances tonight. Uh, can it wait till tomorrow? I just got that through R the door. Room service? I didn't order it. Oh, did we order room service? I... You guys ordered room service, I assume. You talked about it? Yeah, yeah when it I said a couple, of, couple of stiff drinks. Yeah, uh, I'm going to stand off in one of the other rooms with my shotgun. I, I have, uh, I'm going to put my hand on mine. Yeah, my hand is on the, the butt of my gun as well. Uh... And I will open the door. And <laughs> My apologies. I forgot that we ordered room service. I do. Hope oh no! That... I, I, my apologies, Ms. Rumtree. I understood you wanted to be left alone. I just wanted to make sure that your food got up here and you had a chance. And he car wheels the cart and he says, "Do you want me to set anything up, or are you good?" Uh, you know what? We are. We are perfectly fine. It, well, Thank leave the you. cart outside, and you can ring down to the the front desk or not. It's up to you. And we'll come back and get it when you're done. Thank you. Sounds and great. And he just turns and leaves. Like, he doesn't wait for you to respond. Um, he, he seems to understand that you guys are in the middle of something that does not want to interrupt you. I'm going to... As, yeah, as soon as he's gone, I check the cart. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to lift the, the, the tablecloth on the cart and check under it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, everything is... It's food. It's... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Bobby, you feel like eating something? You probably could yeah. use it. I locked the door behind. Is there any pie Not on the tray? Alfred. There is no pie. Oh. oh, no, of course there's pie. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, is there? Bobby would have ordered three pies. <laughs> and after the night boom, he boom, has, Blackwood he gets all three. Eat dinner without pie. That's right. Boom, boom, Blackwood. <laughs> when Bobby turns into an old man gangster, that's what he's going to scream at people. <laughs> boom, boom, Blackwood doesn't eat dinner without pie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, so, uh, yeah, no, dinner comes, um, you guys sit and eat and talk some more, um, it, it, it is getting later, um, <laughs> as Dolphus yawns, <laughs> been a long day, <laughs> um, so, into finals week, Ooh. so a couple of things to keep in mind, or to, to think about. You don't know what the connection is between – you have a good idea of what Pinhue's doing. But you don't know quite where the connection is between him and what happened to the Carlisle expedition. Mm -hmm. Other than Gavigan uh, – I'm sorry. You know what Gavigan's doing, but you don't know what his connection between him and the Carlisle expedition. Other than the Pinhue Foundation sound, sent them with Mr. Pinhue – or Sir sure. Aubrey Pinhue. Right. Well, and the, the, only, the only even uh, – kind of correlation that rum tree would be making is Dolphus or Hardgrove is, is quite convinced that this mountain is somewhere in Kenya. And we mm -hmm. know that Roger Carlisle had become quite fascinated by a Kenyan woman. And that's where that, they were murdered. That w And that that's where the they were murdered. And so murdered. it's very, and then Jackson whilst investigating possible uh discrepancies with the carlisle murder or the carlisle uh massacre is also killed by a this a cult that is potentially based in kenya, kenya. so it, you're pretty solidly sure it's based in kenya and let's not forget that elias had a card for the penhu penhu foundation on him that's the whole reason why we were sure. following that lead so i you know he had Gavigan's card, exactly. Yeah, Gavigan said he had no contact with him. I'm starting to doubt that. So or he there collected is, it from somewhere else, but... There is a connection somewhere. What I'm saying is the details are not as clear as they could be. Sure. And, and Gavigan probably has those. Aaron, as an investigator, now's probably a good time for a stakeout. Well, didn't we, could, didn't we say that we were going to meet him again? Yeah, I wasn't going to follow up yeah, on that meeting. Mark. That was a trap. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes, it um, was. well, and it, we'll, we'll say that in character. You know, if you, you know, Jewel. Yeah, yeah, Jewel's like, oh, well, I'm glad that you realized at that point that maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, no, I had no intentions of following him up on that. Okay, well. But I have a, 
I think a stakeout wouldn't hurt. That way we can see what happens tomorrow when we don't show up. Were there any <laughs> apartments or hotels in the region of the Pinhue Foundation, in the like in the immediate vicinity of the Pinhue Foundation? I know it's um, quite a nice area, but... Yes, there are apartments. There's also um, retail establishments and food places, so you could sit at a cafe maybe. Okay. So my preference would be to stake out in an apartment. It would be less obvious, but... Sitting in a cafe about the time that our meeting is supposed to happen would give us at least direct sight and to see if, what kind of ant hill we kicked over sure. by not showing up for that meeting. Did did we actually set a time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say you did. Yeah, okay. well, when we left, we we left. The, the the secretary was supposed to have made the arrangements. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, then. Um... In fact, we can call the the false hotel and see if anybody's called to leave us that that appointment. Because they would have had that contact information That's to true. leave with us. That's true. Um, hmm. Yeah, I kind of would prefer to have an apartment or something, but I don't know what, what our cash situation is at the moment. I mean, I know we have the, the retainer from Miss Carlisle, and I know Bobby has access to a certain amount of money, but I don't know how... I how don't know the feasibility of getting an apartment on I short don't know notice. the... I don't... Yeah, exactly. And I don't know how they feel about non-citizens. We are just here on a, it's, it's, a visitor's visa. And it is 1920s. There is no home away. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah. yeah uh, let's take out a cafe. Yeah, we'll, we'll go have coffee. So, yeah, okay. can we call the other hotel and find out? Uh, Bobby can. It's under his name, so. Yeah. Do you mind calling the hotel, Bobby, and see if we've got an appointment for tomorrow? Sure. All right. Okay. So you call the other hotel. I'm um, sure Alfred won't be there this time. No, it's not Alfred. It's the other guy. Uh, you are told that uh, you have a meeting for the end of the day, so around 4.30. Um, the meeting could take as long as it needs, but Mr. Gavin, or, yes, Mr. Gavigan is booked up the rest of the day. Um, so is that tomorrow? So feel free to stop by. What now? Is that tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, because you said it was yeah. after dinner, right? Okay, so yeah, yeah, now it's 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 probably closer to nine p.m. now. So late in the day would be time. like four thirty five. Four mm -hmm. thirty, yeah, four thirty. Okay, so four thirty appointment. I say we find a place to stake out around three. I want to see. I want to watch who's coming and going. And one thing that uh, if if I remember anything about uh, or what we've probably witnessed being there. At this time of the year, it gets dark pretty early and pretty close to like four thirty. <laughs> so, so um, we yeah, that's what it does in uh, Indiana right now. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Um, so if we do need to keep that in mind as well, do we all want to be in the same place or do we want to be? I think it's gonna be a little obvious if we're all grouped up. Well, that's kind of how I felt, but I wasn't sure what the plan was. No, unfortunately, I've been thinking. For from from that area it looks like there's quite a few cafes that are close by so it's not like we're going to be separated far very far from each other if only we yeah. lived if only we all had you know just small radios that we could just fit in our ears <laughs> that we could just yeah, talk yeah, through yeah. i mean i've heard talk of this in in the magazines that i read but as though you could walk and also talk at the same time it's just i mean they could even call it like a walker talker or something like a that a walker and talker wow <laughs> I think it's a genius idea. I should go back and patent it. <laughs> I had a I had a very interesting idea. All right, what's up, Bobby? I was thinking um, if we <laughs> want to tell uh, the Penu Foundation that we found where the cult's operating. Uh, like call them tomorrow morning and leave a message to the ho to the home of Miles Shipley. Yeah, specifically that they have a uh, temple in the basement there, very similar to what was in the Juju house. So my only problem with that is we have him locked in the closet. But it's as far as we know, he's still in the closet. It's going to be Gavigan. Right, but they could also call the police and say these foreigners assaulted a local artist. They would hide the snake body, make it look like we assaulted the artist, tore up his paintings, and I don't know We're if we necessarily looking at that situation anyway. Well, no one's going to believe him. He's crazy. 
I think the cops, or the Scotland Yard in this case, would look it up, but I don't think they're going to like just look for us. But if we get Gavigan involved with it, he can definitely point the finger at us. Maybe, but I'm just looking for anything that could uh, be a potential ally or something we can use to take on this group, because quite frankly... Dolphus, in how? terms that I think uh, most people here can understand, we're behind enemy lines at this point. Oh, most agreed. Professor Hargrove, are you at all skilled in anthropology, or is all of yours just the archaeology? No, I'm quite versed with anthropology as well. Um, in in matters of these ancient uh, religious and occultic, uh, occultic sects, uh, is there a sense of fellowship amongst different ones or is there more a uh, violent reaction to members of other cults say a, a cultist of the bloody tongue runs into a cultist of the serpent god whatever uh, would they be inclined to help them or would they be more upset about it is that even something that you might know well, and uh, Matt, should I make a roll for that? or? Yeah, go ahead and make a anthropology okay. roll. All righty. And then rephrase the question again, Roxy. So, would, would Gavigan and his cult, would they be upset that there were other... Uh, people on their turf. Yeah. Or would they be like, oh, we're all here bringing down hell... So it doesn't matter. I don't necessarily. Mm. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, to, the the issue is would would they help? Well, the, we're we're assuming the artist. We're assuming the artist is a different cult. Exactly. Okay. Are they allies or I adversaries? Am. Right. That's that it comes down to. Are they allies or adversaries? Yeah. And do they behave as such? Hargrove, what you get? I got a hard success. Um. Typically, when cults meet. Um, in, in an area, one attempts to dominate the other, either through physical violence or assimilation or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. But typically, um, belief systems are, are going to override one another at some point um, if they're known. But that's also assuming that the worship is a known thing. So if it's something done in secret, then that might have a different effect on it. It, it, it's vague, but if if basically if one cult becomes aware of another one, you should expect some sort of confrontation. Um, but uh, it may not be that one knows of another. Also, bloody tongue and snake people don't go. That's not a hand in hand thing. That's right. those are two very different, two very different things. So if they were of the same cult, you would be surprised. Right, and that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, do we? I I just. Would Gavigan and his Ilk. and his people, yeah, would they would would they even be of a mind to be like, oh, we'll just have these Americans arrested? I don't think. Yeah, you're right. Solomon and Quain was not interested in having us arrested. No, he's interested in killing so, us. So, I don't think that. The I mean, to Bobby's credit, the plan to essentially say, "Hey, we went over here, and there's also some weird stuff." And make it sound like Although we think that's I'm the cult. Not yeah, yeah. Because okay. I'm, I'm, without, I'm game for without it. any kind of indication this time that, or without any indication whatsoever that we think that Gavigan is therefore, you know, or maybe we even say, hey, we think we found a cult. You know about death cults. Are you familiar with like a serpent cult? Um, are they associated with the cult of the bloody tongue? You know, are these cult? Because did he act like he knew anything about the bloody tongue? I don't remember. He flinched when we mentioned it, but he but didn't. He, didn't yeah. he played it pretty so close. So we're just going to yeah. say, hey, we found some really weird stuff, and we think that there's something. We saw something similar in New York yeah. in a basement. Hey. And All right, we can play it that way. I know I'm not the quickest person at the table, but Hargrove, I, I, I was curious. Do you, have you ever heard of Sithagua? Uh, you can roll a cult or Cthulhu Mythos. Your choice. Oh, okay. uh, well, a cult would be much better. Yeah. yeah. Can, can I roll that as well? Because this is the first time Bobby. Has sure. Seen this yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll as well because I have some occult. I got it. I failed it. Regular <laughs> success. 
Uh, I just missed it. My that luck. I could spend luck. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, the professor had hit it, so it's not yeah, like we're going to be without Yeah, the professor hit one. it, so, uh. I got a 36 on a 50, so just a regular nice. success. Okay. <clears throat> this is what you have read. He dwells in the Black Gulf of Inqua, or in, I'm sorry, in K, where he first arrived on Earth from Saturn. He is one. He is a lesser malevolent being, though still quite terrible. He's usually represented as having a furry, fat body and toad-like head with bat-like ears and fur. His mouth is wide. His eyes are always half-closed as if sleepy. And it is always said that he can freely shape, change his shape at will. He was worshipped supposedly by ancient peoples, specifically uh, people, serpent peoples and uh, a type of furry subhumanoid in ancient times. And then by sorcerers and wizards later. Uh, he was given magic gates and spells to the faithful. He has given magic gates and spells to the faithful in the past. He is served by a race of entities known, for lack of a better name, as the Formless Spawn. They dwell in NK and in his temples. Hmm. Um, and a, a, um, a passage you remember reading once. He discerned in a dark recess the formless bulking of a, a conscient mass, and the mass stirred in a little a little at his approach and put forth his infinite slothfulness in a huge and toad-shaped head, and the head opened its eyes very slowly as if half-awakened from slumber, so that they were visible as two slits of oozing phosphor in the black browless face. Hmm. That stuck with you for some reason. Do you share that with us, Professor Hardgrove? Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Do you just recite it? Uh, recite it with uh, dra a dramatized reenactment? <laughs> no, more as if I was given it a as a lecture. Ah, yes, that that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, what was what what, what was angry. it, Bobby? That you asked? Satagua. Satagua. Where did you come up with that name? That's the cult at that house. Okay, which makes sense that they yeah. serpent people worship. Can I get a spelling him. of that? T S A T T O G U A. I think I put the book down it's, and closed it's got the an book. H in I spelled there that good enough. Yeah. Okay, with with that information, yeah, let's lead that. Let's lead. Let's lead Gavigan and his crew to that. We can see what happens while we're watching. So we call them. My only concern is. There's some sort of magic or power or something going on there, evidently enough that it was able to pull Bobby into that painting. What if there's some other sort of things of power there? We don't want Gavigan to get a hold of them. I have a very sinking suspicion that the two groups aren't going to like each other. And other things... Well, no, but any... Anything in power in there. history, two groups that come into conflict, conflict. If one conquers the other, they take the spoils. Yeah, but the spoils are not going to be about his group. They're going to be this other thing. He'd more than likely destroy them. It's at this point that I go to my case and I open it and I bring out the pillowcase because I don't think I've mentioned it to anybody. No, you have uh, not. No. Snake juice. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> um, what, what is that, Miss Rumtree? Well. I mean, I didn't go into that basement, but this is about the only spoils that I found. Are you opening the lacquered box? Uh, very carefully, yes. With the needle okay. again? Inside there is a syringe and a vial of dull green liquid. Um, on second look, Miss Rumtree, you notice that there is almost like a, a ring inside the glass part of the syringe to show you how much of the liquid has been used in it. And it's probably your your nursing background tells mm -hmm. you that this syringe has to have been used several times to leave that kind of a ring. You don't share needles. Well, it could just be one person using the needle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure whose bedroom it was. I didn't even think to ask if it would looked if it looked feminine at all or if it was more masculine. But I, um, I think everything really there was tell. pretty thread. 
it was pretty barren. I don't think it matters to snake people either. No, but I mean, at one point they would have been human, I would assume. But um, yeah, so I uh, not so affectionately have termed this in my mind snake juice. I have no idea what it is. I'm not familiar with anything from my history that looks like this. Is but anyone handling the vial? I, I, I am not. I have not I'm, touched it. I'm at looking all. at it in the box, but I'm not touching it. I've been creeped out too much tonight. Does it have a label or anything? No. So. On the inside of the box, is there any markings on the underside of the lid? Is there felt that I can pull back to see if there's a maker's mark anywhere? Or is the box completely nondescript? That's a good question. Hold on just a second. Let me take a look. The way I see it, there's two possible meanings behind this. One, whatever that snake creature was, was using this to make that Miles see go things. crazy or see things like a drug and manipulate him and control him into doing whatever it wanted. She she was quite a persuasive and manipulative woman or whatever she the was. The other only possible thing I can think of with this is that whatever this liquid is that is in this it was caused the condition of that creature. Right. That's why I don't wish to touch it and I have not taken it out of this box. Anybody with a cult that's been trained up at all can roll that for me. Okay. Regular success. Nope. Missed it by that much. Yeah, I missed it. Um, so, Professor Hargrove, you know that serpent people are believed to have been born as an independent, normal race all by themselves. Okay. Not that you believe that they actually exist. So it not, might not necessarily be something that gets changed from human into a serpent person, but uh, they are, in fact, another species altogether. Okay. So it's the lizard people who live in the center of our hollow earth. Yes, except these happen to be serpents, but yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Nice. Professor, do you happen to have any contacts in London with some kind of medical or... You know a guy. I, I do know a few people. Would it be prudent to give them the substance to find out what it is, or do we not want to shake that tree? <laughs> I don't recommend it. Love those beaches. <laughs> Okay, so let's just forget about the juice right now, then. It's not really an issue. Was there any marks on the box, Matt? No, there are not. Okay, so um, if we're finished looking at this, I'm going to wrap it back up, and I I tuck it back in the pillowcase, and I tie it up quite tightly so that it cannot be preferably yeah, we, shook loose. We don't want housekeeping to use it. No, no, it goes back in the gun mm -hmm. case. So ultimately, though, we're looking at a stakeout tomorrow, right? Yeah. We're looking at, are, are we looking at revealing, trying to set the two cults against each other? I'm I'm game for it. I, in in I, fact, we might want to split our stakeout a little bit. Uh, one group watching the Penhue Foundation and one group in Soho watching the house to see what happens. Was there anything in Soho near... <laughs> Who read the the the? Wait. Oh, Bobby did. Bobby. Mm-hmm. You roll an intelligence check. Mm-hmm. I'm confused a little bit on something. Yeah. We're saying watching Hard Soho. Success. Are we talking about watching the house? The, the painter's house. Yeah. Right. If Once we if we give them information. I thought, well, I thought Soho was something different. I thought those two different places. No, Soho yeah, is place. a district in London. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's why that's why we couldn't burn down the place anyway because it was it's Connected. it's an urban housing area. Uh, hard success. The you remember a a liquid being described in what you read in the book uh, that you had. Whoa, whoa, um, yeah. Oh, it, I. It speaks of sending people through time to experience the true uh, view. Of things, the truth. yeah, no, I, it was in a, it was in the book I read. Uh, that's right, uh, a liquid. Um, I guess this might be it, but it's supposed to uh, 
some people to have visions. So are we exposed truth of the this cult or whatever like, to the person who? So who we're going to say it? that perhaps Mr. Shipley was the one being given the stuff, dosing up, and and he was seeing seeing visions through time, time and space. Yeah, something so like that. So seeing the truth. Well, he's <laughs> You're painting the it. truth. <laughs> I I don't. I mean, I can I can give I, I can allow that all of this is is real, but to see the truth, I don't know. I think there's still we. I have to believe that there's some sort of malevolent thing at work here. But in in my opinion, we we should send word. I don't believe we should call Mr. Gavigan. I think we should send word, you know, in pen and paper and give them the address and say we found something and either reschedule to meet him there and we stake it out and see if he even goes. So somebody be here, yeah, split up. Right. As much as I don't like that, but two people here watching the Pinhew Foundation building and then two people in Soho watching the Shipley home. Bobby, do you feel like doing an old-fashioned stakeout with me in front of the you house and stuff? I'm more than happy to. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let y'all handle this part. I'm, I'm of the opinion that perhaps Dolphus and I should go to Soho instead. Okay. And then Bobby can take pictures at the Pinfew Foundation because. All right. That see works. if anybody interesting comes or goes. All right. All right. Okay. So the plan is to send a uh, uh, a. How big are cameras in 1925? <laughs> uh, they're, they're not huge. They're, they're big, but they're not. Huge. Okay. Yeah, so the one I got uh, is actually a real camera. Uh, it's the first 28 millimeter camera of its okay. type. Nice. We'll, I just we'll, want to make we'll, sure he's we'll play a tourist. Yeah. Uh, wrote it down i can't remember it. i mean or here's the deal or i could uh, dolphus and i could stay and take pictures of the pinhu foundation but we'd have to use your camera bobby and i don't know how you feel about that or think... you could buy a second camera i'm just saying yeah i'll buy you yeah, a second camera because no i got a what's called a leica 35 millimeter camera and it a was leica? yeah first it of its kind uh com nice compact camera clockwork you, you think know you can find one of them no <laughs> somewhere else no <laughs> they were rare but i mean if you wish to buy me in a camera i mean i, I don't yeah. turn down gifts for i'm anybody. i'm good with bobby and i taking Young pictures of the penhue foundation because whoever's going to be going to soho is going to come out of the, the foundation probably sure the assumption well yeah i mean i guess you, we don't have to, i guess we really don't have to stake out the, sh the artist house but i mean kind of curious to see i will what happens. say a little bit a Pepperin of truth always makes uh, a lie sound a little bit better. Oh, of course. You could always tell them that, that we were attacked and hurt by the cult and we're going to ground, and that's why we're telling them. Oh, that's why we don't want to meet at the venue foundation? Ah, uh, so change your plans with them in Well, the I mean, we've already expressed that we were attacked in New York. Yeah, if we say be... we were attacked here and just play dumb. Yeah. He might want to know who else is attacking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's play it. Um, yeah, let's play it that way. Mm -hmm. Because you're right. That sounds more. It sounds exactly like mm -hmm. what True. what we've told. Yeah, exactly. And something strange is happening to Mister Blackwood. I think we can leave that out. I would appreciate. We probably shouldn't mention that at all. I don't know. It sounds kind of neat to me. Might oh. as well. And I do want to do that. Uh, I'm going to actually find like something to mark on my arm, the uh, like an infection. I'm going to mark where the scales are and where the redness is, and I'm going to watch to see if it expands or shrinks or anything. Man, you'd think this this gentleman watches a lot of <laughs> a lot of medical drama. <laughs> Listens to medical dramas. Yeah. No. Okay, so what's the full plan? So the full like, plan... Just concisely I'll tell let, me what the plan is. I'll let him Yeah, we'll let you yeah. explain. So the full plan is we're going to send word to the Penhue Foundation in the morning that we were attacked last night by cultists at, you know, 
at the artist's house, uh, Miles Shipley's house, we'll give him the address and all that, saying that we believe that it's the same cultists that attacked us in New York, that we're going to ground, and that we will need to reschedule the appointment we have with them tomorrow afternoon to another date while we heal up. Okay. And then, and you're going to send this by courier? Yeah, I think so. I think that we should be able to go down to the front desk and they should be able to arrange that for us once the letter is written. I think you should sure. write it, Bobby, on the station. Ooh, let's not use the stationery from the hotel. Not from this hotel. Oh, let's... Not this courier either. You know what? <laughs> they already know the hotels are dead by now. Yeah, but they don't know the yeah, one we're Yeah, but they don't at. know we're at this one. Yeah, I'm just saying. So let's just use some nondescript paper and then yeah. I will... There, there'll be a newsboy or somebody that we can send. I will also say we should switch hotels. I'm fine right. with packing up in the morning and going somewhere else. Yeah. I'm fine with that. We can do that. We can pack up in the morning, send the, the letter off, find a new hotel, and that will give us a new time to get to our stakeout positions. Yeah. Can I also make a recommendation that pick someplace? Like right now, if things go completely south, where are we going to meet? Where are we going to meet? How about, honestly, how about we meet um, at Mickey's? What? Oh, the... Mickey Maho- Mahoney, the... The, 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 the uh, rag? Scoop. The rag. At the scoop. At the scoop. At the scoop. Yeah, okay. let's at the scoop. We all kind of, everybody remember where that is? If things yep. go completely no. south. Sure. <laughs> all right, yeah. If things go completely south and we got to run for it, meet at the scoop. Because at go. least if we die on his doorstep, he'll have a great story. <laughs> <laughs> we promised him a story. Wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> what better way than right. to be the news? <laughs> so you put together uh, a memo to send over. Mm hmm. And uh, you pack up and leave and go find another hotel, Hotel the Third, um, and you then go to your stakeout points. Yeah. So you, you and the professor, the professor and Miss Rumtree are going to. We're Soho. grabbing coffee and a nice Monte Cristo at the cafe across from the. Okay. What are you carrying with you, uh, Jewel and Dolphus? I will, uh, prop. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I will have changed into my uh, traveling outfit, which is gonna be some uh, flowy beach pajama type uh, slacks, sure. and still have my my hip holster with my thirty eight. Um, but it is it is all the clothing is long, loose, and lots. So uh, sure. there's no there's no lines. For, of concealment, but um, but, and probably not a camera because I doubt we got one <laughs> in that amount of time. But uh, but yeah, I'm probably uh in my, in my handbag I will have my brass knucks and a switchblade. Brass knucks. Okay, and you are taking. You're going to the cafe across from. The Penguin Pen- Foundation? Foundation. Yes. How are you getting there? I I believe I'd just hire a cab. Sounds good to me. Yeah, cab uh, sounds fine. Bobby and Aaron, you guys are carrying what? I'm carrying my my uh my gun, my Colt 45. Mm-hmm. With you know two extra three extra clips, so I've got four clips total. I've got brass knuckles brass knucks in my pocket. <laughs> um. And, you know, my suit, jacket, hat, the whole nine yards. Okay. And Bobby? Uh, one thing I can't, I, I do not want to carry my gun with me at this point. Well, we got our car with, the the rental car with us, so you could put that in the trunk. Okay, it's, it'll, that'll stay in the trunk. Yeah. Well, cool. the rental car uh, is at the other hotel, isn't it? No, we drove it to... Well, no, we, we did leave oh, the car. Oh, that's right. We so, left oh, it at wow. the other hotel. All yeah, right. we don't have the rental. <laughs> All right, do you want to go buy... Uh, uh, I don't want to go buy the hotel and get it. Nope, I'm not going by the hotel. Uh, I mean, we can... Dolphus and I can have the bags. Well, well that doesn't is there any place that either. you can check luggage when you walk into? I know there were dance halls in America that you could do that. You know... Well, we, we were gonna we were gonna grab you another. You get a little locker. Well, train we were, station. There we, we go. We were gonna grab another room before we, another hotel before we went on the stakeout. Yeah. So sure. we could leave so it in that room. So we could just leave it in that but room, and maybe it's near I the Penny Foundation. Like the idea of the, uh, the train, train station. station. Okay, that works. 
And Matt, since you, you missed me there, I have my handgun and knife and uh, a pair of field glasses that I would ask Miss Rumtree to carry in her bag. Okay. I was more worried about the shotgun carriers, where their shotguns were. <laughs> Still um, in my case. I don't carry it yeah. out. That's okay. Um, so you guys all set up. Um, I need uh, the people at Pinhue to give me a spot hidden. That's you and me, right? Nope. No, they're, oh, they're at Pinhue. Pinhue. We're me and David. At, so. oh, okay. And what time of morning did you send the courier, and what time of morning do you think you would have set up at Pinhue? So... We would have sent the mi- the the message. I uh, yeah, prob- like eight o'clock. Well, yeah. probably when we left to go to our different locations, that we'd send the courier. Yeah, like at eight o'clock then, nine o'clock. Yeah, we'll send. Okay. It. Yeah. And and you sent it from where? We it was on blank paper with a mm-hmm. non non marked sna- stationery or envelope, and mm-hmm. we with the courier that the hotel suggested. Yeah, or or just even a newsboy works okay i'm good with with butter in the palm of some little know, street urchin some street urchin t- to go deliver a letter send it to the newsies <laughs> yeah. um, and then we did not we did not reschedule a time we just said right. canceled yeah we canceled and said we were going to ground and then dolphus and i headed for the cafe to see if anyone what time do you think you would have gone to the cafe uh, let's mm. say by 10. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, like later morning. Sounds great. So what'd you guys get on your spots? I got, uh, let's see, where's my spot hidden? I got a regular success. As okay. did I. San- fantastic. So, uh, basically you get there, um, you sit through about lunch, and you notice that there are a lot of people that go in. A lot of them look like they work there. Some of them look like they do not. But nobody really comes out. Like once or twice, you see a guy come in or out, or go leave that came in earlier. But you've seen probably a dozen people go in that do not work there, that do not come out. Uh, we have already established that Jewel does draw in a in a small like notebook. Sure, sure. Because uh, she copied down the symbol on Jackson's forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I'm. I know I did not list it earlier, and I apologize. And if we don't, if we want to take that back, that's no, fine. no, 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 no. That's um, fine. Go I ahead. would say that she was just she would be absently sketching in her book, and it's not going to be anything like super great. But she might jot down a few notes about people she sees. Sure. Um, the reason you note that they probably don't work there is they're not carrying any kind of briefcase or bag, and they look uncomfortable in the nice suits they have. On top of that. Whereas everyone else is well appointed in, in suits um, and very, um, very British. <laughs> these these uh, the dozen or so men that you saw go in are kind of hulking, bigger guys, and they are clearly um, not strictly English men. They are of Huge men of color. Freaking guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're men of color, um, okay. and um, not that you can see a lot, but they look rough around the edges. Okay. They walk with a jewel. You can tell they walk with a with a with a, a confidence of a man that's ready to kill. Oh, well. Hmm. If that if that captures the, does... kind of the aspects of them. Sure. So Gavigan Stugs. Sure. Yeah, they yeah, look like that's... they look like heavies. Um, so at least twelve heavies have gone in. Twelve. Uh, no one comes out. Twelve heavies. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, yeah, I um, make note of that. You're not fighting that. No. Meanwhile, at the uh, at the uh, Shipley House, can I get a spot hidden from the two of you guys? Absolutely. And you guys are how are you staking out the Shipley House? Do we do we we required a car somewhere? Yeah, that's, sure. that's fine. That, that works for me. And we're, and we're parked not definitely not directly in front of the house, but we're parked in a spot I where would we assume get a, that you're a good pr- private investigator. Yeah. Don't put out a sign. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I rolled a nineteen, which is a hard success. Hard success. Yep. Hard success. I got a regular success on okay. the spot hidden. And, and Aaron, could you roll a a, a stealth for me? And can I uh, can I roll on that as well, or assist or anything? Um, he's kind of 
do it. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Right. You can I pull. rolled a 63. Can I use luck to push that down to a 60, which yep. would be a regular success? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're not in combat okay. yet. Yeah, no, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, so you guys kind of, you, you hide out, you keep an eye on it. Um, when you get there, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. About an hour after sitting there, a car pulls up that's marked police. A man gets out and goes inside and comes back out uh, carrying police tape that seems to, like, it's loose. Um, and then he kind of goes around and, like, checks the other doors and then leaves. That's what I figured. They're using police. No, it looks that way. This oh. Monte Cristo oh. is lovely. Dolphus, uh, I would love to find a place who can make this good of a of a breakfast sandwich at eleven o'clock in the afternoon. Back home. Would it be afternoon technically? Not yet. Not quite yet. Not quite. At yet. home, it would not at all be. It would be like six in the morning. <laughs> um, eleven is before noon. Yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> You're right. You're right. So, the, uh, so, so your your time has passed. Oh, I was sorry. Nothing, I was, no, oh, go uh, ahead. Sorry, I meant to ask. So the guy that came out of the house after he went in, he put up police tape, or he? No, he. It was like he was taking it down from a previous crime uh, scene. Ah. Uh, so somebody did find it. Yep. And he was coming, clearing it out. Okay. Interesting. I don't know anything about it. I'm drawing heavies. <laughs> so, and then, do we want to? Do you want to stay there any longer to see if anybody else comes, or are we gonna just be like they know about it? Let's just skedaddle. Hmm. Did you get a picture of the guy that took the police tape down? Uh, I didn't say I did, but yeah, if I can. The photographer didn't even take a picture. Sorry, <laughs> you had one job. I had one job. <laughs> Um, I mean, you guys could always come back and join us for Monte Crisco. Yeah, why not? They're good sandwiches. Um, the longer we stay there, I mean, um, I the, chances are you're gonna get caught. The way on the the cafe is gonna be like, what in the heck are you doing? You can only you can always so you can sandwiches. always finish up your Monte Crisco and go to a different cafe that's still within. See, and maybe we do that. I would like to see if Gavigan ever leaves. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you you kind of hop people. between cafes for the rest of the day. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I try. Okay. I try Earl Grey at all of them. And then I guess we're gonna sit in front of the the Soho hot, or sit where we're at and just make sure that nothing else happens. Like okay. Snake people um, boiling so, at the door. Uh, <laughs> around twelve thirty, um, a uh, someone delivers lunch. Another half dozen or so heavies end up going in um, in the afternoon. Jeez. Um People come in and out like normal business, but nobody, you never see Gavigan, nothing. At about five, um, people start kind of streaming out. It's uh, it's the people that work there, um, but by 5.30, he still hasn't come out. How long? How late are you going to stick around? Oh, I don't feel comfortable staying, here, staying in the area much, much time longer after dark um but uh it does bother me that he hasn't come out however um do i see a little street urchin uh roll luck let's see uh nah i don't I don't see one. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I guess we'll head back to the new hotel in a cab. Yep. Or a bus, but probably a cab. Uh, Dolphins, can I have you roll luck? Yep. All right. 27. Okay. Um, just as you guys are getting up and packing up, Gavin comes out. He has one other man with him. It's one of the heavies. Um, his car is pulled around for him by that guy. They both get, or no, I'm sorry. They both, there's no car. He starts walking 
uh, towards the direction of Soho, which I'm guessing is not far from here because it says he walks there. So, okay. Are you going to attempt to follow him? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, Dolphus. Do we want to <laughs> we want to follow this guy? Uh, I would say that um. You and I are rather conspicuous in this setting, so we may not have a very good time of it. We could try if we're very careful, but we're likely to be seen doing so. So I'm going to say that's a no on following Gavigan. And they, and you said, Matt, that he was heading towards where you guys Soho? are. All right. Well, we're in a good spot yeah, to see him. I mean, Soho's we... an area, so... Well, it's he might not come like by he's our area. directly towards you. Right, right, yeah. right. But he might come by us. Yeah. How busy are the streets, Matt? Still pretty busy. Um, not oh, okay. dead, but not 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 as full as they were right at five. But there's still quite a few people out. Basically, everybody's headed home for the day. All right. Well, if it's busy enough on the streets, we could walk with the crowds and try to not be seen. Yeah, I would uh, put on my my cloche hat and I would. Uh put on my jacket as I'm it's January so I'm sure I have a coat uh, and I'd bundle up and maybe flip up my collar and lapels and and bundle up a little bit and maybe uh, uh, try to not be as much me as possible <laughs> but maybe hunch a little bit okay Okay. Uh, just for the note, it is the second of February now, third of February now. Okay. Which is still going to be pretty, pretty close. Uh, pretty close. No, no, I, that, that's fine. I just realized I hadn't updated the calendar on my end, so I wanted to say something while I was thinking about it. Yeah, sure. Um, so, so you guys are going to follow. I need stealth rolls from the two of you. All right. <laughs> Crap. Which is yes. Dirty is not always stealthy. Mm. That's big hey, no. that's no. I got an 18. It's a no Ooh. for me. Let me see if I don't even know what my skill stealth is. It could be like 10. Basically. No, it's 20. So I just just got it. <laughs> Excellent. So do you both got it or just you, Adolphus? Uh, just him. Got a little check there. Okay. Um, I'm checking stats. Hold on. Sorry. There we go. Bless you. Fantastic. Um, so you follow him for a little bit. Uh, you come within a couple of blocks of Bobby and Aaron, but not close enough to really, unless you want to stop following him, uh, to really let them know where you're at. Um, okay. And he enters a shop. From the outside, it looks like a tea shop. Okay. What is the name of said tea shop? The Fru Fru House. Wow, well, they don't give it a name. That's okay. super helpful. <laughs> well, all right. It's called Tea. The Murder Face Tea Shop. Tea with an accent. It's <laughs> yeah. It's Tay. Slurpees. Yeah. It's the Slusho Shop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's not a tea shop. It's a spice shop. Oh. Ah. Oh, you spice. need that to rule space. Yes. Yeah. The spice must it, flow. And also must flow. Do you spice. Do you, Do you spice. Have... No, we're not making crit roll references. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> we do not go in. Okay. Uh, he's in there 20 minutes or so and then leaves without any anything else. Um, the man comes out with him. They talk for just a brief second and head different directions. Mm. We do not split up, Dolphus. No. What do you guys do? I would like to keep an eye on Gavigan. Does Gavigan headed back to where he came from, or um, if you had to guess, he's probably headed towards his house. He has a house here in Soho as well. Okay. okay. Um, and where's the other person going? Uh, looks like back towards the the Penhew Foundation in that direction, at least. And okay, in which direction are our friends? Neither direction. They're kind of per per perpendicular. Away. All right. I mean, if we know that Gavigan has a, I mean, uh, do we know that Gavigan has a house in Soho? 
Yes. Can we take that information he, as okay? Yeah, I mean that that's something that Bobby would know uh, from his talk. Or no, you guys knew that from your talk, I think, with Erica. Did she mention? Maybe not. I don't uh, know. We it would did, be, we it did would be public look- knowledge that he has all of these things. Okay. I was gonna say we had files on all of the properties that he had. Uh, yeah, we we, Dolphus and I looked it up in the in the uh, library and learned that he had control of the Pinhue funds. But um, if if we know that he has a house in Soho, then I would um, I would not be so worried about following him. But I would at least like to stay where we are until he is well out of sight. Okay. Do you want to check out the shop? Uh, not at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, we learned our lesson about going into little if, tiny shops. If, if Dolphus has at all indicated that he believes that that uh, Gavigan is is the head of the bloody tongue here in in London, I do not wish to be in another uh, place like that. Okay. She, she has, she feels palpitations just thinking about it. Okay. Uh, so where, where to now? Where are you I guys, would, where are all four of you headed? I, I would, I would probably say we go and find Aaron and Bobby. Yep. That was my suggestion. There goes and meet up with them and then go. Huh, there goes your cover. There goes our cover. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, if it's blown, it's blown. But uh, <laughs> if they're watching you, then you were going to leave eventually. Um, and, yeah, and I, I would suggest we go back to our hotel, wherever it is. Is it also in Soho now, our mm. new one? No, no. It's nearby, though. Okay. I Oh, did we get one? Because I had a suggestion for for what. But that's okay. What, what did, we, did we get one? Uh, yes, you do yeah. have a third hotel. Was somebody going to ask a question? Mm-hmm. Did you have a suggestion for a hotel, David? I did, but if we already had one picked out, it doesn't matter. Well, no, we hadn't picked one. It was just part of the plan. We I could mean, it's just story in the telling. story we have one, but you can suggest one. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say it would go get us a suite at the Savoy. Is it around? Okay. That works. We didn't specify where we were going. We are just going to get another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's affordable. It is the Bobby. <laughs> I'm sure gonna... I could afford it. it. Yeah, it's a it's it's a nicer place though. They would have um, some some protocols as to who they let in and out, unless they had some sort of sway over things. But uh, and uh, I believe it's not too far from Soho. Okay. Um, it is in uh, the city of Westminster. That's in central London. Yeah. So I'm not sure where that is in regards to to Soho, but yeah, it's at least in the same city. We could take take a cab. Yeah, uh, I remember. I mean, we got around by uh, by the underground when we were there, and it didn't take very long to get from. Yeah. Because the, the Palladium is in Soho. Yeah. And we went from the Savoy to the Palladium, and it took us like 10 minutes. So it's probably a half hour walk or so, I would guess. Well, if they're going to meet Which us. That, we, that's still not that bad. If yeah. they're going to meet up with us, we got the car, and we'll just drive to the Savoy. That's okay, true. cool. Uh, so you drive to the Savoy and uh, meet up. Well, while we're um, driving, can I check to yeah. see, make sure that no one's following us in like the rearview mirror? Yeah, give me a spot hidden. Uh, that got. is oh. a uh, regular success. Uh, nothing in the back in the rearview mirror. It doesn't look like anybody's following you now. Okay. Um, we're just paranoid AF. Right. <laughs> that in my face still hurts. <laughs> I think my jaw is fractured. <laughs> that woman's was too. Uh, does somebody want to do first aid on poor Aaron after he got slugged? Sure. Now that yeah. once we get back to the hotel. Sure. Yeah. How's your face, Aaron? It's it hurts. I I, I don't not. know what he hit me with. I but... did not make it. Field medic. I mean. I can try first aid on myself. I've got some points. Got a, a a normal success here. Roll a D three, uh, Aaron. D three. Yep. Uh, that is a one. So you'll heal back one. <laughs> Super <laughs> helpful. Does that take me out of majorly wounded because I'm still under half? I'm right at half now. 
Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Um, yeah, you still have a major wound. Yeah. Yeah, so the way that major wounds work is that once you take one, you can heal all of your hit points back up, and you still have a major wound until you get to a point where it goes away. And I'm actually looking that up right now. I don't remember I was what the say, I mean, on that. If we're going to just lie low for a little bit, we could always take you to a hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, when you take a major wound, you do fall prone, which you essentially described anyway. Yeah. Um, major wound recovery. It's it, Every week you're going to make a con save to see if you can recover the major wound. Okay. But he has to wait a week before he can do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a while. You're essentially you. You got a giant ass bruise on your face, and it's gonna be there. Right, right. So you said it was February second or third. 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 Okay. Interesting. Um, so on the eighth, I can make another save. Yep. What's our plan? Uh, actually, on the ninth, you can make a save. On oh, the ninth, you got hit. You got punched on the on the second. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, well, so actually, need- that. We're about five minutes before we would we would cap out anyway, oh. and before we get deep into the next step, mm-hmm. um, I'd like to take a break. Uh, so, just as a helpful reminder to Matt for next week when he has to come back, or in two weeks when he has to come back and watch this, uh, they went and uh, met the Shipleys and then staked out Gavigan to see if he went to the Shipley house and uh, he did went not to the Gavigan, and he did not, and now they're back at the hotel, the third hotel. This and number three. Whose name is this, this one, one going to be under? I guess the professor, since he suggested the Savoy. Sure. I would have given them a uh, a fake name that okay. I may have traveled with before, sure. successfully. A boom Boom Blackwood. <laughs> no, I'll, uh, I'll I'll come up with something in the interim. Oh, look. sure. It's Doctor. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was kinda great. Um, kind of great. Just as kind of. I mean, it was a pretty <laughs> lackluster episode. We could have died. We could have lost Bobby. GM. I think it was great. Nobody died. It was all great. I almost died from a punch to the face by a puny little artist that had more strength than he should have. (laughs) I I like that the artist almost. He was hopped up on snake juice. (laughs) Hopped up on snake juice. Here is the episode title. That's the episode title. (laughs) Oh yes, definitely. Hopped up on snake juice. Hopped up on snake juice. Um, Um, And I'm gonna spell it J O O C, just to not hit a copyright. To not hit a copyright comp. Um, so thank you guys for coming out and watching. Uh, we are now officially an affiliate. So if you enjoyed the show tonight mm-hmm. uh, and you wanted to support us, we would be very happy uh, for you to subscribe. Uh, you can. Uh, you probably can't do that yet because I'm waiting for my paperwork to go through. But that is coming up soon. So, so don't forget it. to do that. What now? Save your five dollars. Yeah, save your five dollars. Also, if you have Amazon Prime. It's free. That's right. Twitch Prime, um, subscribe. Yep. Yeah. I will be doing um, that as soon as it goes live. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we will be back in two weeks on the 19th uh, to see how terribly this goes for everybody. And then I think the next show is on the, what, the second? Yeah. yeah it'll be right after. The second Christmas. of January. It'll be, uh, no, it's not, I, don't th- I think it's the third. I don't remember. Maybe it is the second. But yeah, it's after New Year's. <laughs> nope, it's second. <laughs> Calendar says it's the second. There we so. go. It's my cousin's um, birthday. Yeah, if you guys want to check out other stuff we've got, you can go to passionnerdly.com uh, or nerdsdomain dot, or nerdsdom.com. Check out our podcast there. Mm-hmm. Second season of uh, Seriously Let's Plays just started, and I will actually be on that season on what the last few episodes for mm-hmm. something that uh, we're about getting ready to record uh, awesome. day after tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Awesome. Glad to hear. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, yeah. Cyberball so, episode one came up this week. So. Yeah. Uh, it was a fun episode. Yeah, so it should be a lot of good fun. Yep. Um, otherwise, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you guys in two weeks. Yes.